Okay, good afternoon. Just a quick reminder before we get started to the anglers here. Dinner has been pushed forward to 5 p.m., not 5.30, and that'll make way for the fireworks this afternoon and this evening. Uh, welcome to the venue. Uh, we've, this is being streamed on the internet at hubbyfishing.com.au as well as Facebook Live. My name is Steve Fields. I'm one of the tournament directors this weekend. And here we are at day two of the 2017 Hobie Kayak Brim Fishing Australian Championships. These events are not possible in any way, shape, or form without the sponsors, which you can see on the sides of the trailers. In no particular order is Daiwa, Lawrence, Berkeley, Atomic, Rhino Rack, Strike Pro, TT Lures, JML, Power Pole, Mortgage Corp, the Mandrake Resort, in the grid getaway outdoor group of stores. Most of these companies are marine or tackle related. Uh, some are run and rack, roof racks, and mortgage corp is into finance and advice. These guys have been with us for a number of years, since 2009, most of them. This particular weekend, we have 45 of Australia's best anglers. Uh, the pathway here is they had to qualify in each of their own states. And generally it was the top two or three to make it here. So we have anglers from New South Wales, ACT, South Australia, Victoria, and Queensland. Um, along with the people who qualified in the local WA tournaments over here. This particular championship is a four-day format. And what I mean by that, they have one day of a pre-fish. And what that does, it gives the anglers that are out of state an opportunity to go and go around the arena to have a look at the different waterways, where the fish are holding, because um, they've never been over to Western Australia in most cases. Uh, you have three days of competition. Competition day on one was Friday, today's Saturday, and now we'll see the last day is on Sunday. The waterway was chosen for a number of reasons. It has proven difficult, but it was chosen for the fact that it's a lots of different options. Um, a lot of people fish snags, and you'll find those mainly into the uh, the estuary system, whether it be the Murray or the Serpentine. You've got flats out the front. You have butt hulls, docks, and pontoons. Um, so it, all the anglers are kind of specialist in their field in those particular ones. To give you an idea of what happened today, is the anglers had the uh, breakfast this morning at the Manjiki Resort at 5.30 a.m. They come here and we have a registration in the morning. They're issued a key tag for a safety point of view. They have to be back today at 3 p.m. Um, and that means that all the anglers are back here ready to go and we'll do it again tomorrow. Now tomorrow the tentative session times are 7 a.m. for a start um, and a 2 p.m. finish on Sunday, not the 3 as you normally have. Today, anglers are fishing for three brim. These are nominated on every single day. Each of the factory supplied kayaks have a live well in the back. They keep the fish alive during the competition. They're issued with a weigh bag and they bring their fish up and put them into these tubs where you see now. Those are called the Berkeley bump tubs. It's a recirculating thing. The fish get a bit of fresh water and a bit of oxygen. We call their name, bring them on stage. Um, and the winner is the cumulative weight total over the three-day period. Anglers are also fishing for the Atomic Big Brim. Now, Atomic are a lure company. They are distributed through Frogley's Offshore, based in Queensland. And that Big Brim is worth $250 on each day. Now, yesterday, a West Australian, Sean Higgins, took out Big Brim, got his $250, and it weighed in at 1.29 kilos. Very nice. Uh, Peel Inlet one. We had several other fish at one kilo. Um, yesterday, something interesting too. Most of the anglers yesterday went to the river systems. That's the Murray and the Serpentine. Thirteen anglers decided to fish the canals. Um, 
today was slightly different. You had about a 50-50 mix between people heading up to the front of the system versus the back end of the system towards the Murray and the Serpentine. That could be due to the forecast of wind last night and this morning. Typically, we're going to have a west-northwesterly winds about that 17 to 19 plus miles or kilometers, sorry, knots going south southwest about that same wind speed it did not eventuate but that does play a role in some of the decision makings that they do uh, and just give you an idea from this launch site to basically the front of the murray and the serpentine is almost an hour a lot of the guys are going way past the bridges up that way and some of the guys are doing an hour 45 to two hours travel time just to get to where they want to fish in these Hobie kayaks. So out of an eight hour session, you've got kind of four hours that you divided into making the, a big, big call of going somewhere with the complete confidence that you're gonna get fish. I will say today it is fishing very, very tough. There's a lot of anglers who did not get fish. Um, they had, uh, I think, a total of 58 brim caught yesterday, and I think it was about 31 or 32 kilos in total. So very, very light on that side of things. If scoring is ready, we'll get started. I got the thumbs up this way and the display he's yelling at me for, and it's on. First angler up is Danny Jobson from New South Wales. Now, Danny had three fish yesterday, and it was a total of 1.65. Come on up, Danny. We also have Mr. Matt Petrie, who is on the bump tubs. We're measuring the fish and we use a centimeter above the state legal limit. So at every single time during the day, the fish are at legal limits. How are you, Danny? Pretty good, mate. Thanks. One, sh two short today. Nice fish, yeah, but yeah. too short. Struggle today, mate. Do I dare ask if you went to canals or the river systems? No, you can ask him. I went to the canals. To the canals. It, to the canals. it yeah. just didn't fire. And I know you did the canals yesterday and just didn't have that same pattern? No, nah, that's it, mate. All right. Fish Now, you need 0.53 to take the lead. It might make it. And he's done it. 0.81. Put your hands together. It's only one fish. That's not too bad. Are you going to do anything different tomorrow? Three days of fishing and you're going to bang those canals again? Yeah. Sounds good. Perfect, son. We also have a wreck fish west here. Now, Hubby invests a lot of money in catch and release tournaments. It's really sustainable fishing, and that's what we're trying to do. The good folks at wreck fish west, they're here to put tags in the fish. That's done throughout Australia. And the idea is you, next time you catch a fish and there's a tag in it, you can call that number in, and we can then find out how far those fish travel and what that growth rate is. And our whole goal is, is to maintain that fishery year after year after year, and that's why it's so good to have wreck fish west and others help us on that side. Tim Olson is next. Um, he's from the ACT. Um, what I like about it, he didn't come on stage yesterday, so he, we had a thing called donuts, and that's when you get zero fish. And uh, the winner of the donut dollars this morning was uh, Kevin Bowes from New South Wales. I think he got a bit of ribbing for that, I'm sure. Now you need 2.47 kilos. That's not going to happen. A better day today? Oh, hate better day. Yes. Hate better day. It's good to see people happy. Only a two fish. 0.85. Are you going to do something different? No, I'll do the same thing tomorrow. That sounds good. Danny Jobson's leading at 2.46. Obviously, only two angers there. Who we got next, Jim? John Josh Clemis is next. No. Massimo Salomon. I think I did a little bit better job today. Not totally butchered it. Had three fish yesterday. Not a bad bag. He had 1.89 kilos. You were kind of sitting in that fifth or sixth place yesterday. Not this time. Not this yeah. time. It felt the wheels fell off. Yeah, yeah. Estuaries or canals? Uh, went across the estuary, yeah. Okay, here we go. You need 0.58 to take the lead. Won't last for long. Won't last long, he says. <laughs> Not quite. 0.53. It's going to be a big day tomorrow. Yeah. It is possible there are some very big brim here, but the, uh, that window is starting to close. Luke Rogan from Queensland's next. Again, another angler who did not get fish yesterday, and he got his bag today. And what I mean by the bag is we create a limit every day. It can be one to four fish. Today we chose three, and he has that three bag limit. Fantastic. Love to see you on stage with a full bag. Me too. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. You going to wear one of those for big brim? I think so. This is going to help you. It definitely helps the, uh, the brain when you get some fish, because after yesterday you go, what did I do wrong? That's what right. did you change? What did you do differently? 
I went up the river and I got me lucky shorts on. You got the lucky shorts, all right. <laughs> They're, they're so old, but... All right, here we go. Those three fish are coming at 2.15 kilos. Very, very good. Now, let's weigh this fish and find out. You take the bag, I take the mic. Let's find out. Now, you're chasing $250, and it's per day. You're chasing 1.29 kilos. You sure that's the right one? I'd, I'd look again. That was yesterday. I understand that. But today, we've got a different one. It's bragging rights, Jim. You want them both? Sure, but one at a time, though. Just checking. Here we go. We at least want to see a kilo fish out of the estuary here. Let's have a start. That one fish is going to come in at, ooh, just short, 0.96. Let's grab the other one. I, they're very similar. Swap them out. Beautiful fish. Chuck him in. While I'm doing this, can you show that to the camera on here? We've got a lot of guys in the Europe and the United States watch this, and they probably have not seen this species. Let's find out which one of these two is going to be heavier. Nine, six before, that was definitely the right one. At least you got one, two fish. Same game plan for tomorrow? Hopefully. Hopefully so. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Paul Burton next from WA. WA guys, just so you know, the top 10, you had five people from Western Australia and you had five from New South Wales. The top four were from Western Australia. He was leading yesterday at 2.17 kilos for three. Got three today. You only need 0.30 to take the lead. That's going to be easy. A little bit lighter bag today. Yeah, that one is big. Same location again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to ask you anything because I know what you're going to tell me. So, yeah, I just went fishing. You went fishing. Tomorrow they kind of tell us what we're doing. Needs 0 0.30. That's going to be an easy one. 1.73 kilos beats your total weight of 3.90. Put your hands together. West Australian in the lead. Day two of the Australian Championships. David Shanahan from Victoria. Two fish yesterday. Three today. That's a start. How are you? Good, thank you. Big day? A long day. Canals? Up the river again. Up the river? Third day. Serpentine or Murray, if I may ask? You don't have to Murray. tell me. Murray. All right. Anglers are pretty quiet usually on the first couple of days. Those three fish are kind of coming at 1.09 kilos. Fantastic. Thank you. Well done. Perfect. That puts him into seventh place so far. Chesney Fung had zero fish yesterday. We saw him in the canals today. And two fish. Thank you very much. He's currently number nine in Angler of the Year for our entire season. So a veteran guy. Been around for a long, long time. A lot better catching fish, isn't it? Oh, yeah, much better. Much better. Finally see a fish. I <laughs> know, uh, that's all right. At least you're on stage. Those two fish are going to come in at 1.17 kilos. Fantastic. Well Thank done, you. Chesney. There we go from Victoria. Glen Allen, New South Wales, only one yesterday. Slight improvement to two. We saw him catch, I think, a couple of salmon today and caught a lot of fish, but the wrong species. Struggle a little bit today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got five brim, but only two legals. Only two legals today. So yeah. seven in total. Plenty you mainly stay in the front of the system today? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Plenty of tarwine. Tarwine? Okay. Them in. Those two are going to come in at 0. 0.65. Well done. You need some big fish tomorrow. It's possible. Put your hands together. There we go. Sean Higgins, I think he was in third yesterday. Three fish for 2.11 kilos. Got three today. You're going to need to get three fish every day to have a hope in that top five or six without question. You need 1.8 to push you into the lead. No, I've been lucky with a kilo, I think. It's not going to make it. But when we saw you, you had two. How long before you got your third? Uh, pretty quick. Just pretty quick? Left, yeah. Did the lady in that little houseboat come out and talk to you? No. I saw something on Facebook. A guy goes, I know her. <laughs> there we go. You need 1.8. You're not going to get that. Let's see where it comes in. 1.19. A West is trying. Put your hand together. Get these guys some support. Well done. We still have one more day. 
That puts him up into second place. WA now, it, uh, Paul Burton, 3.90 from WA. 3.30 is Sean Higgins. Kane Terry, three fish yesterday for just over a kilo. About the same bag today? Yeah, maybe a bit smaller. A bit smaller? <laughs> Matt's on the measuring device, so I know it's good. He's making sure it's there. Let's have where this is going to put you in the scheme of things. You're currently in 17th place. This will definitely bump you up at 0.89. Put you up into 7th place. Well done. Here we go. Small fish. Jenny, Danny Jobson's the uh, only New South Wales in the top five. WA right now currently hold the top five position. Tyson Hayes from Queensland. One fish yesterday, one today. We thought for sure with the canal systems, the pontoons, and the boats and the docks that the Queensland guys would just have this. And it's something different. They are different other than 3,000 miles away, aren't they? The yep. two systems. All right, one again. A thousand casts today? Uh, probably more. More than a thousand casts. Right, yeah. That one is going to come in at 0 0.42. Bit bigger. There you go. Well done, Queensland. <clears throat> Simon Morley, very consistent. Angler of the year or a couple of years ago. Three fish yesterday for 1.72 kilos. Three fish day he needs 2.19 to take the lead. Well, I don't think I've got that, but it, whoa, nice fish. We'll sit close. So. Nice fish and uh, rivers. Yeah. Yes, he was reluctant to say that, but there he goes. Needs 2.19 kilos to put New South Wales on top. Not quite. 1.83 puts you into second place. Hello. Well done. Put Thank your you. hands together. Give the guy some support. They're really having to work hard. The system's quite down a little bit, and they're also having to fish over a three-day period. So not only do you have to work out where the fish are, you have to manage those locations. There's only so many fish holding in certain areas. Alex Whitehead made the journey from South Australia. Had a nice bag yesterday of three fish at 1.26. Only one today. Doom, doom. <laughs> How are you, man? Yeah, not too bad. I saw you back in the same spot or near there. Yeah, I caught that like first cast, same spot as yesterday. First cast, same spot, and you thought your day was good? No, because I knew it was flogged. Flogged, yeah. <laughs> I, th I think Carl Dubois looked in the canals and he saw five. Go to the next canal, saw five, and he's going, there's nowhere else to go. All right, that one fish is going to come in at 0.56 kilos. At least you're on the board two days in a row. Jeez, mate. And if a number of anglers don't get fish, you never know your luck. Scott Marcinkowski, two yesterday, one today. I had tipped him to be in the top ten. It just isn't to be. How are you? Yeah, good. It's, it's kind of quiet out there. It is, it is. I got that about one o'clock. So One o'clock? <laughs> Time for lunch, was it? Yeah. All right. You're currently in 14th. Let's see what that's going to do. 0.59. Better luck tomorrow. Are you going to change your strategy tomorrow? Ah, same time. Same, same. All right. He said that yesterday. Same spot, same location, same lures. Stephen Pryke is next. He's in the youth division. Does very, very well in the kayak series. Zero fish yesterday. He also fishes the power boats, and he's uh, sponsored by Gamagatsu. Is that correct? Yeah, I represent Frogley's Offshore. Frogley's Offshore, one yeah. of our sponsors, Michael Starkey. Great company. Lots and lots of good gear. You need 3.91 kilos. It's so you and happen. I both know that's not going to happen. But let's find out if it uh, was successful. 1.14. Where did you fish today, if I may ask? Uh, canals. Canals. And what were you throwing today? Uh, mostly plastics. Mostly plastics. I won't go into too much because you'll lie to me, so I'll just leave it at that. Sunday is quite good. They'll tell you the line they're using, the lures you're losing, what techniques, and it's quite good and uh, very knowledgeable. Andy Mitchell did very well, I think, in the uh, WA Classic. I think he was in there somewhere. Zero fish yesterday, only one today. When we saw him about lunchtime, he had none. So you finally got another one. Yeah, I did, Steve, yeah. Same location? Yeah, it was, yeah. And it felt like a 40 after fishing so many hours. Yeah, well, it does. You throw and you throw and anything hits it, you think, I've got a whale. So, all right, you've got on the stage. That's the start. Yeah. It'll clear your mind for tomorrow. 0.33. Massive fish. <laughs> I bet it pulled drag, didn't it? Oh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Open bail. 
Joseph Gardner did very, very well yesterday. Three fish yesterday for 1.72 kilos. And fish today is how many? One fish. I just wanted to make sure Jim had nothing in the little box up there. He's going to type in the one fish. What happened? Uh, I struggled struggled pretty hard. I probably should have gone up further than I did. Okay. How far did you go, if I may I ask? You don't have to tell um, me. Uh, up past Ravenswood in the Murray. Ravenswood's in the Murray. How long did it take you to get there? Uh, I fished along the way. It's about, about two and a half hours to get back. Two and a half hours to get back. Oh, here we go. One fish. You're trying to hang on to some sort of... <laughs> Top 10.42. We got to see what the rest yes. of them come in. Well done. WA absolutely smashed that top four or five yesterday and just had some awesome bags. Another guy that's Shane Owens. I had tipped in the top five. He has been here before in 2014, and I think it was a tie for third. He'll correct me if I'm wrong. Two fish for .92. Good to see. Three fish. We saw him earlier. Um, and he got his bag, and he already started upgrading. Well done. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Now, question after that: You fished the the rivers yesterday. Yep. And you decided to change that tactic today. Yes. Um, more so down to the fact that I was absolutely spent after yesterday. <laughs> that night. sounds good. Well done. Now, what time, if you may ask, did you get these early? Uh, no, I actually got them spread out throughout the day. Okay. So, I won't ask yeah. you what lures. We still got another day to go, and this is definitely going to help you in that chase in there. Not too bad, 1.79 kilos puts you into fourth place. Thank well you. done. Yeah, Put your hands together. Come on, make some noise from WA. These guys want to take this title out, and they want it in the top ten for sure. Alex Gresdorf is next, a local of the area. I think he told me he's um, was lived here for ten years. Second place yesterday, 2.15, just short of the leader yesterday at 2.17. Three fish yesterday, three fish today. Not... Not Bad. as good as yesterday, but oh, solid I'll bag. tell you, it's going to be close. Mm. Big effort where you went today? Oh, long paddle again. All right, here we go. You need 1.76 kilos to knock off Paul Burden. I think you've got that. He does just one point. Come on, let's go. We have a new leader. I won't ask you about your tactics tomorrow because there's a national title online, <laughs> and I'll just leave it at that. I won't, I won't do All it. Right. Thank okay. you very Thanks, much. Mate. These guys are keeping things pretty tight to the chest on this one, but that is really good. Now, 3.94 is Alex. First place, 3.90, Paul Burton from WA. Simon Morley from New South Wales is still hanging in there at 3.55. In fourth place, 3.30 from West Australia, Sean Higgins. And round out the top five is 2.71 kilos from Western Australia is Shane Owens with a cracker bag today. Dylan Hennis is next. He uh, was zero fish today. He's got two today. We saw him out there. How are you, mate? You got two, you couldn't quite get that third. Not quite, no. That's all right. That's not bad for two fish. It's going to get you on the board. That's the biggest thing. 1.22 kilos. Well done. Thank you, mate. Thanks, Steve. Same tactic for tomorrow? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully so. It's a big call to go all the way down two and a half hours to chase three fish. But it's also a big call to stay here the same. Josh Clemish had three yesterday for 1.22 kilo. You're currently in 19th place. Just couldn't get that mm, yeah. third. How many fish in total did you catch, or was this is it for today? Yeah, that was it, just that the was two. two. You reckon the uh, ch rain or the change in temperature changed the fish bite, or is it just tough in general? Uh, not too sure. Not too sure. A lot of people are scratching their head, like Carl Dubois. 0. 0.71 kilos. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> You're just going for the donut dough. That's, that's the only reason why you're here. That's it, the donut money. There are no more bags. All right, there you go. Tough bite. Let's do a recap of the top 10. 10th place, 1.94 kilos from New South Wales, Scott Marsinkowski. 9th place, 2.14 kilos from WA, Joseph Gardner. 8th place, 2.15 kilos from Queensland is Luke Rogan. 7th place at 2.42 kilos from West Australia is Massimo Salomon. 6th place at 2.46 kilos from New South Wales is Danny Jobson. 5th place, 2.71 kilos from WA, Shane Owens. And 4th place at 3.30 kilos from West Australia, Shane Higgins. 
Third place, 2.55 kilos, New South Wales, Simon Morley. Second place, two point, sorry, 3.90 from WA, Paul Burton. And leading on day two, the final day tomorrow, from Western Australia, 3.94 kilos, Alex Gresdorf. Put your hands together for the local boy down here. Let's see if he can do it. Now, for those that live in the area here, we are going to have fireworks around that 7.30 mark, and they'll be launched from here. And all the anglers, please, dinner is at 5 o'clock tonight, not 5.30. To the crew, uh, John Hooper, the beach captain, Matt Petrie, beach crew, and also the measuring device, uh, Zoe Simpson and Bob Finlay on media. Big thank you, guys. It was flawless today. And to the anglers, there's always tomorrow, and we'll see you at 5.30 for breakfast. Thanks again, and we'll speak to you soon.